Now, as you know, they have totally changed the way nano effects work. And I know there have been plenty of videos made on what nanos are and what they do and all that. But I just kind of wanted to cover how they work now in comparison so that you can have an understanding. So you don't watch a video, an old nano effects video, and you kind of get what it does, but you don't get what it does compared to what it does now, so to say. And what I mean is guns used to be the same powerful. Like you could take any of the nano guns, any gun with a nano, if you took the exact same gun, and it was siphon, uh, bio, radiation, electric, it, they would all have the same damage. And that isn't how nanos work now. Now nanos work a little bit different, and um, I have a lot of the same guns. They'll be at different egos, so they'll, they'll have different powers, because the higher the ego the weapon, the more power it's going to have. So, And I've never hid the fact that I'll have cast it in Springers, and I just so happen to have one of every single flavor. I have all of the nanos. Now, if you want me to just cover the basics, when you look at the gun symbol, you see the picture of the gun, and you see that little blue symbol next to it, that gun is bio. A lot of people will also refer to it as poop shoes because it leaves little poop boots on the enemies when you shoot them. All right. This one, with that toxic symbol is radiation because it's also known as a radiation symbol let's see I have some more of these they're just somewhere else I'd like to show you the exact same guns okay the one with the little purple swirly is siphon um fire is obviously fire or incendiary however you want to say it it could be either either way doesn't matter electric with the little lightning sign on it and you might get one like this that has no signs, and that basically means it just has no nano. It just shoots straight up bullets. Or as some people like to call it, um, lead. <laughs> it's a lead nano. But the thing is, is this does pretty much um, what you think it does. No nano, just shoots bullets, and that's what it does. Now, if you shoot with electric, it will shock the enemy, and they might do a little dance for you, and uh, sometimes that's kind of handy because it's nice to have them dancing and electricity also strips the enemy shields away a lot faster than other nanos do. Now fire, just like that. It sets the enemy on fire. Uh, sometimes the smaller enemies will panic and they'll start rolling around on the ground and everything. Fire nano also does a lot of damage to an enemy's health once their shields are down. Now siphon steals their shields and their health and returns it to you so if you're low if your shields are down or your health is low it will steal that from the enemy and bring it back to you now back in the old days this was the best nano to have and now now that's up for debate bio it, it's like i said it leaves the little little poop shoes on the enemies now the thing is is with shields, we all have armor plates, and you see that the enemies have armor plates. When you see the armor symbol and it has a 7 by it, that means they have 7 pieces of armor. Each piece of armor is 10% of damage reduction. So if you see an enemy with 7, you would have 70% damage reduction, meaning you were only 30% effective in shooting that enemy until you get rid of those armor plates. Nothing gets rid of bi uh, those plates better than bio. Bio will just chew those plates away. It's great to use to get rid of it and then swap over to another weapon or continue with it. It doesn't matter. And I think that was radiation. Radiation leaves it like, I don't know what you want to call it. Like a film. We'll call it a film. <laughs> and it, because that's what it looks like to us. It looks like a film. And that allows your teammates and yourself to do more damage to an enemy whenever it procs the nano on it and I didn't mean to do that <laughs> now also um, radiation is allowed to go through some of those armor plates it, it there's a certain percentage that off the top of my head I do not remember but um, radiation is allowed a certain percentage of its damage to seep through those armor plates without having to worry about damage reduction so that's kind of where radiation is good now radiation was the second best nano is what everybody used to think and 
it probably still kind of is considered the second best. I mean, some people probably still consider it the best, some the second. When, if you mean, from what I hear and read the most, it's pretty much the second favorite, Nano. With Bio, Bio used to be probably just about the bottom of the pile. People didn't like it. And because of how effective it is against armor plates, it's now the favorite. I always hoped they would fix this, but I don't know if they are going to. They thought about it, and then they backed off and said, nah, we're good with it like it is. So it kind of seems like it's not going to. So that's what all of your nano effects do. That's what your symbols mean. Um... Now, the thing is, is when they changed up the nano effects, they also changed the damage of guns. They said, okay, if it has a nano effect, the nano effect does a certain amount of damage. So we want the gun to do a little bit less damage. So depending on what the nano was, they reduced the damage of weapons. Now, we'll only look at the Casteth and Springer, since I have one in every single nano and without. Now, some of it's going to be a little bit off, a little misleading. Because roles will pay, will play a part. Now, most of these, I mean, they all have the identical roles. No matter what it is, Casteth and Springers have set roles. They can't be different, but the Mastery can. So, my Radiation one has a damage role, so that's going to, you know, give me a 4% bump up in damage. But, we'll show you how this is. 3184 on my Radiation. 2786 on... The bio, but the bio could come up some. I could, if I brought it up, it would bring the damage up some. Um, look at that. That's let's see. That's what kills you. That is twenty three sixty one damage on the siphon version. Um, electric twenty eight oh four. Fire is twenty. Oh wait. Okay. Well, I guess I can't compare them all because I didn't realize that my fire one was such a low. This is a forty. This one is, a, you know, almost a thousand ego less. So it, the damage would definitely jump up pretty high on this one because that's that's going to be severely low. Plus it has the damage roll on it. So that one you kind of can't compare it too much with it. So uh, and then there is the no nano, which would have the highest damage. This is thirty one sixty five, and that one is thirty one eighty four. So the 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 no nano one, if if it had held rolled a damage, would have been the highest damage one. So no nano gives you more damage per bullet than a nano, but you still want a nano to me over no nano. I prefer to have a nano. I like the effects. They they work out for whatever reason you're using them for. Now, the one thing a lot of people complain about is. Siphon used to be incredible. It was an incredible uh, nano to use. Uh, the the feedback, it was constantly healing you, constantly. And it was so nice, and it used to proc so often. And they made it to where it didn't proc so often. But it's so powerful, they took more damage off of it, off of it than any other nano. So, I mean, most of the other nanos aren't that bad. Um, you can kind of see it as you're looking. You're seeing it there, because... Now, technically, a lot of people don't like um, electric that much these days afterwards, but you see it's 2804, and uh, if you compare that, I mean, it's a lot more than Siphon, but, you know, compare it to uh, that. It's 2786. This one could go up some. So, it's on scale with Bio. Now, at one time, I think, I think there might have been a stealth bump that we weren't told about, but, you know, I have no proof of that, but I feel that they did bump up the uh, damage of electric because it was a lot lower than say your bio or radiation was going to be so i think they kind of stealth bumped it without telling us maybe but that's that could just be me it's just me noticing and when you have the same guns and you kind of get to look at what damage each one of them does compared to the other you kind of start catching these things a little bit and it seems like electric might have moved up a little bit in the damage area where they just didn't tell us it happened so, to me, I mean, if you want to, that's basically just the basic explanation of what each and every nano does. If I personally had to rank them as to where I think they're at now, I'm going to go bio, radiation, siphon, fire, electric, and none. Now, sometimes I do like to use the none in certain situations over all the other ones. So, it, it, it is situational dependent, but if I had to rank them in my preference now, that would have been it. Now, even in the old days, bio was never on the bottom of my pile because I understood the usefulness of it. Now, they don't say it doesn't anymore, 
So I'm going to assume it never changed. But also, whenever you procced bio on an enemy, they did 50% less damage to you. That was That's a big plus right there. I never heard them say that it didn't, didn't do that anymore. But um, I'm going to assume it still does. That when you proc bio on an enemy, they do less damage to you. And, and if you think about it, when an enemy procs their bio on you, whenever a hell bug spits on you and you've got the, the dookie boots on and you can't move, you're doing half damage whenever you're shooting at them. So that's, that's how bio is set up to work. Now there used to be uh, another nano that was just a little smudge <laughs> that was that did the exact same thing as radiation. And there's, there's one of the vendors you can still find it in, but that's the only place you'll be able to find it. And it's not, I don't think it's on that great of a weapon. They just completely did away with it. Now, if, if you have a no-nano gun or something, you can go to a vendor and you can buy a converter. There's only two converters in the game. One's for fire and the other one is for radiation. So you can make any gun either one of those nanos. Um... It would just depend on what you want to do, really. I mean, I would just use radiation every single time. So, I mean, if you go to the your pistol one, it'll be in there. If you go to your AR vendor, it'll be in there. You can just buy it straight out of the vendor, a tier 3 one. That's the only way they come, so there's no other rarity of them. So you can at least take your no-nano gun, and you can put a nano on it if you choose to. If you're like, well, it's got a good mag and decent reload. I don't really need anything. I want to, I'd rather have a nano then that, that's a good thing to do with a really good gun that didn't get one, that you want to have one. But um, that's about all I have for Nano Talk. Just really wanted to cover the basics of it. Um, I hope that helps you guys out some. And if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments. And um, I will, uh, I'll see what I can do to answer any more you have. And I'll catch you guys later.